for 2.3 task two, it tells us that Taylor and Jake are in charge of bringing snacks for their chess club. They have 24 granola bars and 16 water bottles. They want to set out the snacks so that the snacks are distributed evenly in snack packs with no granola bars or water left over. What is the greatest number of snack packs that Taylor and Jake can possibly make? So we're trying to group these things together so there's no leftovers. Complete the table to find the possible number of snacks, snack packs, and number of granola bars and water bottles in each pack. So first, we are taking our granola bars. There's 24 of them. And we're seeing what are the combinations of granola bars we could make. So we could make one pack that has 24 granola bars. So we could make, right, 1 times 24 is 24. We're trying to make 24 granola bars. If I make two packages and split them in half, then there would be 12 in each pack. 3 goes into 24 8 times. Can 4 go into 24? Yes, it can. 6 times. I am going to let you stop here because I know 5 can't go into it and then we're already at 6. So you do not need to do this last part because it just repeats it. It's just continues on six times four so it just keeps going so here's all the choices we could make one snack pack two three or four and have even numbers in each of them so we don't want to make five because then one will have more than the other and that's not fair so they want to make sure they're equal numbers so now we have 16 water bottles we're trying to divide up so we could do one pack of 16 that means one person gets all 16 water bottles. We could break it into two groups and they would get eight. There's no three on here because three can't go nicely into 16. Four goes in there four times and we've repeated. So you do not need to finish those there. So now on the table, the number of snack packs and the number of granola bars per pack are factors of 24. All of those things multiply up to 24. And in the second table, these are factors. Remember, factors are fewer. Four times six is the product of 24. These are the factors. This was the answer. So these are factors of 16. So using the table list, all the possible numbers of snack packs for each item. So we could have one pack of 24, two packs of 12. We could have three packs of eight and four packs of six. Or we can do all of these backwards. We can also have six packs of four, eight packs of three, 12 packs of two, 24 packs of one. But these are all of the choices that we have. And then our water bottles, we have one and 16. So you could either have one group of 16 or 16 groups of one. We can have two and eight, two packs of eight or eight packs of two and four packs of four. So now it wants to know which ones occur on both lists. So I'm gonna come look at my list. Do they both have a 24? No. Do they both have a 12? No. Do they both have an eight? Yes, they do. I'm gonna add that to my list. Do they both have a six? No. Do they both have a four? Yes. Do they both have a three? No. They both have a two and they both have a one. So it didn't, it said right, which numbers two and one. So now it wants to know what is the greatest number of snack packs a volunteer can make. So which is of these is the biggest is eight. So the number, the greatest number that they have in common when we find the factors is eight. So the greatest common factor of 24 and 16 is eight. So they're gonna make eight snack packs. They will have three granola bars 
and two water bottles. So everybody gets three granola bars and two water bottles for their chess club. And a happy surprise, you do not have to do F. So make sure you have A through E filled out.